uh, on Syria. Obviously, this is a, uh, uh, a very tough issue. Uh, I have indicated repeatedly that uh, President uh, al-Assad has lost legitimacy, that he needs to step down. Uh, so far, uh, he hasn't gotten the message and instead has doubled down in violence on his own people. Uh, the international community has sent a clear message uh, that uh, rather than drag his country into civil war, he should move in the direction of a political transition. Uh, but uh, at this point, uh, the likelihood of a soft landing uh, seems pretty distant. Uh, what we've said is, number one, we want to make sure we're providing humanitarian assistance. And we've done that to the tune of $82 million, I believe, so far. And we'll probably end up doing a little bit more because we want to make sure that the hundreds of thousands of refugees that are fleeing uh, the mayhem, uh, that they don't end up uh, creating uh, or, or being in, in a, a terrible situation uh, or also uh, uh, destabilizing some of Syria's neighbors. The second thing we've done is we said that we would provide, uh, you know, in consultation with the international community. Uh, some assistance to uh, the opposition in thinking about how would a political transition take place and uh, you know, what are the principles that should be upheld in terms of looking out for minority rights and human rights. Uh, and uh, that consultation is taking place. Um, I have uh, at this point not ordered military uh, engagement in the situation, but the point that you made about uh, chemical and biological weapons is critical. Uh, that's an issue that doesn't just concern Syria, it concerns our close allies in the region, including Israel. Uh, it concerns us. Uh, we cannot have a situation where chemical or biological weapons are falling into the hands of the wrong people. Uh, we have been very clear to the Assad regime, but also to other players on the ground that a red line for us is we start seeing a whole bunch of chemical weapons moving around or being utilized. Uh, that would change my calculus. That would change my equation. It's somehow under its safe. In a situation this, uh, uh, this volatile, uh, I wouldn't say that I am absolutely confident. What I'm saying is we're monitoring that situation very carefully. We have put together a range of contingency plans. Uh, we have communicated in no uncertain terms with every player in the region that that's a red line for us and that there would be enormous consequences if we start seeing movement on the chemical weapons front uh, or the use of chemical weapons. That would, uh, that would change my calculations uh, significantly. All right. Thank you, everybody.